Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. So today we talk about the euro currency again. And this is a special situation actually guys when almost nothing to talk about on the technical part. And because you can see it on the daily chart, this market stands in a tight consolidation for three weeks. That actually makes no impact on the high time frames, and weekly and monthly. So fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, we're coming to a Fed meeting and that might become the catalysis of the, some strong action. We hope that our long-term target will be achieved, which is the OP, 116.21, as you can see. But at the same time, the achievement of this uh, point provides additionally the background for possible taking the long position. Because uh, this level simultaneously is yearly pivot point, 1620. And uh, simultaneously, this is confidence support on the vehicle chart. So we expect that maybe later this level will be broken as well. But in the first touch, market should form some bullish pattern round and trigger some healthy bounce up from here. So once the OP will be completed and bearish positions will be closed, the, then we'll start considering possible reversal around it. So that's in general what we could say on a daily chart. At the same time, uh, currently the overall fundamental and sentiment background stands negative to your currency. Uh, lots of data shows few uh, positive moment for United States dollars. So inflation is not surprising anybody already uh, because it stands uh, not the first time at the highest level. Second, uh, recently I read a few reports on the insurance sector and on the leasing loans. Leasing loans uh, shows that in the United States demand for the leasing has increased for the 17%. So this is really big amount of the loans. And it suggests that, and, and among the big companies, so this is not among the population, this is for big companies. It suggests that economy is growing and is growing faster. Insurance sector also suggests that it will recover faster than after the 2008 crisis. So this is economy sector. Speaking about the Delta variant and other variants of the uh, virus, Currently, it seems that its hazard is overestimating because although everybody tells about, take a look at the chart that shows the changing of the cases and deaths in the United Kingdom. So as a lot of most, every, every developed country was providing the big part of the vaccination to the populations, you can see that although the daily cases is rising, the daily deaths mostly stands flat right in the bottom. It shows no big impact on the overall situation of the virus. So it means that hardly it will become the barrier for recovery. Uh, so this is important. It, it seems that the breakout of the downside looks very, very probable in the current situation. At least personally, I wouldn't consider taking any long position by far. On the daily chart, we don't have any patients except this wage that we already discussed many times. Additionally, the bearish dynamic pressure stands in place when the trend stands bullish, but price action is not. And you can see in mind, our prediction is selling off by the new sellers that are stepping in. And the uh, euro currency, although it has sufficient chance to show the healthy bounce, it can't break the tendency. So low lows and low highs still stands on the market. On the hourly chart, overall picture also looks a bit heavy just because in general honestly speaking there's nothing to discuss because it's just really very choppy and chaotic price action that absolutely doesn't inspire for trading but since we discussed the kind of the hand and shoulders this might be trigger some upper actions miracle could happen after a pencil bank betting uh, it hasn't happened as you can see market turns to some consolidation that personally reminds me this one 
this first moment. Second moment, by this pattern, it suggested that after this collapse back to these lows, market has to show some recovery. Just as because harmonically it looks so, this market has to show upward action here. But it hasn't shown it. And uh, previous consolidation of the same shape has been formed after the collapse, this one as well. And it was broken to the downside. So currently the question whether this will be broken down as well. So uh, this is the reasons why personally I don't want to consider taking long position by far. For a short uh, positions, if you do not have it, it's very difficult to make the decision because to, to selling right in this consolidation where you're placing your stop, maybe somewhere above the confluence or somewhere. That's why maybe it makes sense to consider if you would like to sell, uh, maybe using the stop sell order just below the lows. So once market will start breaking the lows, you will stop in uh, with, the, with this order and theoretical market should go lower as it will be out of the consolidation this acceleration and maybe tending directly to the OP. So from that standpoint, it might be uh, the solution that at least you could consider for placing yourself for this trade. Because I do not see any other good patterns that makes it more easy to take the short position. So as you can see, guys, currently the fundamental background seems more interesting than the technical side. Uh, let's, con let's see what will happen next week, especially on the Fed meeting. Uh, and whether market will be able to complete finally the target that we have specified.